Hello and welcome, this is something unusual folks, this is Forza Motorsport, you're used to seeing me in other racing games, and a disclaimer before we start, this isn't about a comparison to any other game, this is Forza Motorsport on its own, in a world of its own, a game of its own, totally different, any comparison to any other game is purely for the purpose of process, we're not here to slag anything off, which I tend to see a lot of other video channels doing right now this is never my intention I'm not a Forza player I've played five I've played seven but I haven't been a grassroots Forza Motorsport player because I've been Gran Turismo and with that being the case never owned it well I have owned an Xbox back in the dim days but I played Gotham City Racing back then so this is my first foray into motorsport or Forza Motorsport and with that I just want to see if the game is going to be something that will work on the channel. I did ask people on the channel whether they would like to see my Forza content. And it was an outstanding no of the 30 people from the 2,000 members replied. So by that, 1,970 people might want to see it. However, let's go and take a look at the game. I know you're all interested. I know some people have a lot of opinions. But this is what it will be. It is ultimately... You're a Forza guy, you're a GT guy. I think I can be both. So let's go and take a look. Oh, there's another thing. You'll notice my name in the game is Stubbiest Cargo 5. That comes from my Microsoft Flight Simulator days. And I've never changed my handle back on there. So for the purpose of this, I might be Widowmaker to you that know me, but I'm Stubbiest Cargo in this one. I'm not a short fatty, okay? I'll have you know, I'm tall fatty. However... When we click on the race button, we end up with career, multiplayer, free play, rivals or private multiplayer. Today we're going to focus on the career aspect. And with that, track tour we've completed. I'm part way through track day. So if we click on the introduction, there's the Builders' Cup. And I think I'd like to see if we can go back and have a play. We'll do it without tutorial. A car's journey, from the showroom floor to the winner's circle, is the culmination of a thousand little decisions. Every part, every detail, all carefully chosen by great builders who know what it takes to push a car past its perceived limitations, to find that extra tenth of a second, and in the process, create something that is a unique extension of themselves. Your car's journey begins here. To become a Builder's Cup champion, you'll need to outsmart and outbuild your opponents before battling it out wheel to wheel on race day. So as you begin the game, you're presented with three vehicles. Those three vehicles, as you saw in the video, was a Honda Civic, a Subaru Impreza or a Ford Mustang. As I am a Subaru guy, the only car I can pick in this game is the Subaru. So we're going to click continue and we're going to check out the performance of the car. We've got currently 594 points against a target of 600. Now we've, we've actually done this once so we're a little bit further on than your very first entry so We've got 850 CP available, we've used 1350. What we have the ability here to do is do quick upgrade. And it will calculate the upgrades for us. And it will tell us what we can do. We'll take it to 600. We've got 0 CP. We're going to take everything 3.8, 3.8. It's actually going to not going to massively improve anything. It's just going to bump things up. But there we go, we'll take that. We can also go into Tuning and Setup Manager. So for each event, we're anticipating there will be a practice period where you're going to get to challenge yourself against a pre predicted time. And you have to get that time, you have to complete three laps. In Driver's Assist, we've got a custom profile. So suggested line is off. We're going to use APS, no assist on the throttle and normal steering. We're going to use manual steering into pit. 
Traction control will be on, stability off, and shifting will be manual. We're not going to use a clutch, we're just going to use the flappy paddle on the back of the steering wheel. Let's get onto the track. Super impressive at WRX. We've got to complete three laps and get a lap time faster than 102.03. It's a little bit quicker than my Subaru, this one. You've just got to learn the lines. Now, the bit I'm having trouble with, and I'll openly admit it, is the braking into corners the the throttle that the brake travel on this set of pedals that I'm using here is really quite short and I'm looking for a longer stroke on the brake but other than that the car seems to handle and perform as one well, a little bit front endy on the braking Oversteer, I think they call that. A little bit far off the fastest capable lap time, I would think. there we've just increased the car level 13 so we've been practicing a little bit before we start this demonstration for you four speed back feels absolutely epic even on an old wheel like this and I find it really functional and useful this this wheel it does everything it says on the tin it might not be as good as, as a direct drive wheel, but it's, it's almost 20 years old. It does the trick absolutely perfectly. Still a 106, no quicker. See if we can get this apex and turn through it quicker. So we've done the three laps and we've got a total of nine more minutes to be able to get this fastest capable lap in at 102 something or was it a 103? A 102.03 and we're too slow there. Managed to change down into first gear. circuit we're learning still slower gotta find two and a half seconds
straight line for this one. Ease off the throttle just here. Cut it in nice and tight and leave it to the left. Don't spray out to the right too far. Get it turned through that corner then hard down the throttle. Just lifting for this corner. Don't want to drift too far right. Make anybody wanting to go around us go around us the long way. Quick, quicker. Should be quicker. The 104.7 still got a find of the second and a half. Car coming out of the pits there, that's gonna. Really not help us when it goes running off to the right. I have to found the AI to be a bit like that, to be honest. Interesting to know if there was qualifying positions, what position my start time would give me on the grid. Still no 
Should possibly have that down there for now. I think there are a few things that need to resolve here before we start, before we get further into the game. Here we go. I've got foot on the brakes. It's a standing start. My reactions are pretty lame. Get a little rub from the car next to me and to the right. We'll see where we go. I'm in fourth gear, that's why we're not great for acceleration, but. Oh, I take a battering from the left. Let's have another go. Oh my lordy. The car behind us got a bit of a twitch in the mirror. Go the old round the outside sort of manoeuvre. Don't want to go too wide. Absolutely savage your eyes. But just getting absolutely dog nailed. Blinding start, four and a half thousand revs. 
as the old uh, flag dropped, which gave us a good run up the outside. Need to run that wider out there and faster, I think. Reduced out the front really has helped the turning. Just a little bit too quick into that corner. The graphics look absolutely tip top. No real issue with the graphics at all from my point of view. They are. graphical glitches to start with in terms of lag and drops in frame rate but they seem to have gone away now we're into the game maybe that was just a startup thing and the fact that I've got other processes running in the background like camera recording equipment etc it's all been done on the same PC so we're up into third place which it's quite, quite good. Need to see if we can, uh, well, in my idea, but we're, on, we're only on a difficulty of four out of eight. Second, but not first. Well, for the first race of the game, I don't think that's particularly tough. Nice work out there. No, I think that's the wrong thing to P2. say. For the first race of the game, I don't think that's particularly a bad result. We started down in 10th, well, we started down in 12th and progressed our way forward. Best lap. I don't know why we've got a little image next to that, but hey ho. What does it say on the driver list? It doesn't give us the options to do anything. So we're placed second in the championship. Let's progress on. We 
We didn't make it to the top step. Let's move on. So race rewards. Driver level 6. 32,000 credits. From that we also unlock some other rewards. So bumper skirts. That looks like a new bonnet. Yeah it is. Carry on. We can view the replay or save the replay. And we're off to Mugello next. Mm. Let's have a look. Maximum we can actually go to. Are we allowed to adjust anything more? Transmission we can. Aero. Are we locked? No, we can add aero. But we've got 600 pp. So we can actually do more with this. Front bumper we could actually change. Confirm there. So we've got a slight drop in things, but speed is up. Whatever. Off to Magello. The modern Magello track opened in 1974 and soon after became Ferrari's test facility, where they could push their top secret prototypes to the limit. Let's crack on with the practice. Oh, a bit aggressive getting out of the pits. So, same scenario as last time. Complete a minimum of three laps. And also complete a lap in the relevant speed. really well 
is is get the winds win, is get the dashboard to reflect really quite well off the screen and it really causes quite an issue with reflection and I can't see through it it's quite off putting but that's that's what happens in real life isn't it don't really need to brake at this part of the circuit you lift the throttle and the car does what it needs to do so there's all the objectives we will just come out of there for now and finish the practice I can't really see where that's going but a 108 means we're actually fastest so that's um, fairly hefty so it's probably right in terms of where we're going to go if we start 12th then 12th place it says so that's where we're going to start and it doesn't reckon we'll get first so we'll try and keep it clean we'll try and drive mean and we'll uh, aim to get where we're going to go there didn't we so we've got a little bit to make up I kind of got the 350Z off a bit, but that's fifth place, two laps to go. I want to get into this corner a bit deeper. Looks like 
the opportunities there if we can get the draft. Is a podium place there. Last lap, let's go. That Mustang got away really well, didn't he? It's not a Mustang, it's Charger. Challenger. One of the two. Brain's not fully thinking about it. Have we got the opportunity to make the pass? No dive bomb. No, oh, we've dive bombed him. We've done what we needed to do. change you're not going to get this car in the on the run but are we going to be far enough ahead of the car behind to take that third place yes we are just with that Nicely penalty done. applied we're there <sighs> so where does that put us we're still top of the table with 48 points three points clear and off to the final circuit once the prize giving's gone To worry about first and second, are we? So, a little bit of improvement. We've got some parts an intercooler and a turbo and some weight reduction. Interesting. I wonder what we'll be able to apply to the car. What can we add that will keep the PP rating where it is? I wonder if PP. PI in this game at this point I think if we were to do quick upgrade what would it do it's actually gonna drop a couple of items increase the handling and the braking and drop the acceleration just a fraction let's see see what that gives us happy days we'll get a brief track introduction This looks like we're going to do the full circuit. It's a full Grand Prix circuit in South Africa. Kyalami sits at over 5,000 feet above sea level. So, naturally aspirated engines can expect some power loss due to the thinner air. Let's get the practice underway. This is another one of those 
circuits from the early Formula One days. I think it's also in a set of Corsa Competition track. I don't know where the corner is. Struggling for that. Hairpin. Didn't realise that was the hairpin. This corner is that first one when we started, so it's just a third gear, let it roll through back on the throttle. I want to do that much quicker. drifted it through there. Messed that up, didn't we? However, we just have to complete this third lap. We've achieved the target. Just goes to show you can push too much. Look 
it won't be on time because of the spin back there, but there we go. It had to be a 2.11.25 and that third lap was well enough. So we were first in the practice with a 2.09.292. Happy days. So... That would suggest if we could get the pole, which we should get the pole, really. Because we finished where we finished. We're going to take the pole. It says we're going to finish third to fifth. We should get the pole because we finished there, but I'm not. I'm going to keep us in the 12th place and see what we can do. See if we can get the win. So we come to the grid, 12th place on it. We were first in qualifying, but we're going to give ourselves a challenge. The aim is to try and finish on the podium to win the championship. We know we've got the power. We know we've got the car to do it. There's a white Mustang hovering behind us, and he's going to call oh, that S209 has just pulled in on us. We're going to break on the 75. Total time penalty is about half a second. We got a penalty for for that S209 crashing into us, eh? Happy days. Oh, bump and grind. We kept out of trouble there around the outside. We're up to sixth place. lift into here the car will turn beautifully round here but got over speed on there surely just had to break out a bit for that VXR in front it's an Astra Let's charge on down the hill. I'm surprised we haven't broke our headlights the way we've been bumping. Control didn't object. So we're in third. Looks like we're. Is that a Cadillac or something? Come 
Although we just kept that on the track. Bit of opposite lock and a bum wiggle did the, did the trick. going well I have to tell you this at this point we've done three practice sessions three races this is just the start of the game as it is the racing is pretty good pretty hectic the graphics really no oh just just blown it again I just put two right wheels on that grass to make the overtake he says I'm going to be too far back I've got to really make massive gains I've got a penalty as well so I can't challenge him down the start finish straight So a second place, which is a podium spot, which, oh, hot and sweaty. Second place well gives done. us we finished P2. one penalty. Oh, smokeless joint, stubbiest cargo, that's us, jawless rabbit. Oh, some great names. But we finished top. With 25 points is 73 total, so that wins the Builders' Cup. Let's see the uh, the podium positions. Is that Cadillac C5? And whatever that is, American big thing. You know, I know. Rain just not having it. And do we get a championship presentation? No, we just get race, race rewards. We earned 39,000 credits. We got a gold trophy for finishing first. 15,000 credits. Camshaft. Valves. Absolutely tip top. Well, there it is, folks. I don't think there's much more to see in this first video. But what, it, what I can tell you, the racing is absolutely fabulous. I have... No issues with the car I picked in terms of how it feels. The physics felt really good. My steering wheel was problem free. I think the only one thing I could really criticize, and I think it's more set up, is that my brake pedal doesn't have a massive amount of travel. So you go from zero brakes to a lot of brakes, and I found myself sliding into corners. Graphically, it's superb. I'm really enjoying it. I'm a mid-range PC. It's three to four years old. It was a high-end machine. It's now two graphic cards down, so everybody runs a 4090. If you've got anything to go by, I'm on a 2070S. It still runs everything on high absolutely phenomenally. The graphics, as you can see on screen, look superb. There were no issues in the race. It, it went really well. Criticising the game, what can I say? It would be nice to not have to choose the difficulty. You set a difficulty, and it gives you a grid position based on your qualifying. I don't really understand the point of going through that practice and not getting a qualifying spot maybe it's something I don't understand but starting on the grid the standing start feels good acceleration is brilliant getting into corners great slowing down probably my issue 
making the corner the point system's good upgrading the cars oh, i dig all that it really is brilliant but if you're not a gt user and i am a gt primary channel i would say other games have a showing i um i'm really liking this one i think it's got a long way to go you might feel differently i get it but if you've got any some, something you want to add or something you want to share please do so in the in the comment section really happy to hear it but thank you very much thank you for sticking with us we'll see you on the next one all the best take care